Come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits? The Saturday Night Freak Show. <laughs> Welcome, friends and lovers, as lovers and friends, to the Saturday Night Free Show Podcast, where we watch a new movie chosen, well, a movie that's chosen round robin by one of the Freak Show superstars. New to us. And your starting lineup is... Michaela. Holly. Sean. And I'm Colin. You almost said quarterback. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll be the starting quarterback. I was thrown off starting by quarterback. by the amazing music that was playing there. Um, so, uh, housekeeping really quick. You can find us on iTunes, Stitcher, Google Play. If you found us on any of the or any other place you find good, decent podcasts, if you find us there, please subscribe. Hit the like button. Give us a star rating or write a review. All of that stuff helps us, uh, you know, with the algorithms, get found by other like-minded folks, such as yourself. Quality, right? That's right. You've got good tastes. We like you and people like you. Uh, And uh, you can also write to us because we are on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Saturday Night Freak Show. We're on Twitter. At Sat Freak Show. You can email us. Saturday Night Freak Show at Yahoo.com. And you can find us on Instagram at Saturday Night Freak Show. Tonight's movie was chosen by... Colin. The hell we watched tonight. Tonight we watched... Okay, so I'm crossing one off the bucket list here. This is a movie that's new to me. New to all of us, I guess, right? Uh, The Green Slime. This is from 1968 and directed by Kinji Fukasuku. Kinji Fukasuku. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Fukusaku. Director of Fukusaku. Battle Fukusaku. Royale, correct? That's right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, Good job. Yeah. Another yeah. genius. He had a lengthy, healthy career. Yeah. I was going to say, if this was in what, 60s? 68. 68? Yeah. I think he was like in his 80s when he made Battle Royale. That's which is all. He had about to like wow. teenagers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, he uh, he must have really just hated teenagers. Like, Fuck, <laughs> Fuck them! I'm gonna make a movie where they kill each other. <laughs> Goddamn sons of bitches! <laughs> he was yeah. the Clint Eastwood of yeah. Japan, right? Yeah. Yeah. Get yeah. off my lawn, angry old man uh, on the porch. Get off my yeah, lawn, get the fuck on that island yeah. and kill each other. <laughs> <laughs> Before Hunger Games, it was Battle Royale. Yeah, yeah. He had also he was famous for well, he did another uh, big budget Americanized sci fi movie. Uh, called Virus in 1980 that had a bunch of big stars in it. Jamie Olivia Lee Curtis? Hussey. Huh? The Jamie Lee Curtis? No, Virus? no, not, not, it's like the late 90s. Okay. Yeah. No, Say this was, that's the Lord. guy who did, um, uh, didn't the guy who did Virus, didn't he do like Van Helsing? Was that Steven Summers? No, that was Deep, oh. Deep Rising. D- Steven Summers did Deep know. Rising, okay. I believe so, yes. Uh, but he did uh, what is known as the, I guess, after, you know, doing these like kind of movies, he did a series of Yakuza films mm, called Battles lot. Without Honor and Humanity. Mm-hmm. Like battles. Um, but they're considered like the, you know, they're the movies that kind of codified what the Yakuza, um, you know, like a realistic kind of Yakuza. So he uh, made the Godfather movie. movies of his. Yes. <laughs> the music of which is used in uh, Kill Bill. Oh, Honor, of you know? yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Uh, yeah. So uh, I was saying this is a bucket list movie because uh, I was introduced to this through uh, Synapse Films put out these discs called Forty Second Street Forever, oh, yeah. which were trailer compilation discs of old Grindhouse movies, and we saw this trailer a long time ago, mm-hmm. and I've shared it with everybody here at mm-hmm. the uh, on the Freak Show. Yes, and because of that. Awesome song that you heard there during the open. What song? Green slime. Man has looked out to space in wonder for thousands of years. Sometimes thinking that life could be somewhere. And now, now it's here. Sí, 
purple at its peak. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. Who did this music? Uh, Richard Delvey was his name. He was a godfather of surf rock, <laughs> which is awesome. <laughs> which is, I love that. Yeah, the dude, like, he re- just the bullet points on his IMDb, and, or not his IMDb, his Wikipedia, I was like, whoa, this dude had quite a life. He opened for David Cassidy. He was in a number of surf rock bands. He co-wrote Wipeout. Probably the greatest yeah. super surfer song the, ever written. The Surfaris. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he probably did coke with David Cassidy. I'm probably. I would assume so. He probably did yeah. coke with everybody in the 60s. Like It was probably the who's who of coke doing with him. Awesome. Yeah. 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 I want that yeah. book, the who's who of coke doing. <laughs> that's, that's like, who yes. all would be in that it? list? Yeah. <laughs> Um, if anyone wants to make me a mixtape of surf music, yes, yeah. surf, <laughs> surf music and yacht surf rock. rock. <laughs> I love What'd it. What'd you say, in yacht rock? In yacht rock, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. There's two sides of the same coin, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of brandy or a fine girl on that. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. The looking glass. That's a good song. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah, he wrote that beautiful song you heard, and, and that song plays over the entire trailer. Like the oh, yeah. whole that song oh, is wall to wall. As trailer. it should. I wish it played over the whole movie. Oh yeah. Oh god. Yeah. There I were some moments where we needed like a great. montage set to yeah. that song. They should have just like kept playing that like every. T- I mean, it would have uh, amped up the comedic or camp effect. Yes, movie, it would have very much so. I think you could have done it. Yeah, yeah. I think so. So, um, so this is, I guess, uh, for, okay. So we're assuming that a lot of you probably haven't seen this movie. I would assume so. And thanks for playing along at home. If you want to check it out, it's just new on Blu-ray from Warner Archive. Mm-hmm. They just put it out, which just boggles my fucking mind. But um, I love it. I love it. <laughs> is, it a, is it a goddamn classic? I mean, maybe it is. <laughs> well, it, it's a classic in the because did we confirm this? This was uh, chosen as the pilot episode of Mystery Science Theater. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay, so it was the first movie that they did. Yes. Mm-hmm. Because it's uh, it's part of a genre of films which uh, I think we like to call. The rubber monster suit yes. mm-hmm. film. So actually, if you if uh, there's any mystery science fans, and a lot of you probably have seen this. Oh, there you yeah. go. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I I could be wrong. I read that this was part of their unaired pilot. Oh, really? I yeah, I don't know if okay. it's aired. Okay. Oh, okay. Then that would make sense. Yeah. So maybe that's mm-hmm. a thing. But it still speaks volumes that this is the one that they're like, we need to start with green slime. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, that's awesome. And, uh, it feels like they got a lot of their aesthetic for that show. From this, yes, movie. Michaela. As soon as it, as soon as the like the the ship's design comes on screen, Michaela's mm-hmm. like, "Oh my god, that's the intro ship! Like, yeah, that's it, it. It's like the little ship models you see in the intro to. Yeah, this, yeah it's it's yeah. that's exactly the one. And like oh, you'll hear us mention this a million times throughout this probably, but Holly and I could not stop noticing the parallels between this and Austin Powers. So there is many. like there's, there's scenes straight up lifted and... out of this in Austin oh, yeah. that are in Austin Powers. I've seen like, this in a bunch of movies. We're like, that's that movie. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, a lot yeah. of the equipment. I was like, dude, that's fucking Ghostbusters. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. it's yeah, it's crazy. There's a lot of and it's like it's this stuff just like science fictiony you know things mm-hmm. that like that that's mm-hmm. why everybody's done it because I can't imagine everybody saw. The green slime and right. said, we're going to lift these plot uh, elements from them or whatever. But And I mean, really, it needs to be said, the first half of this movie is Armageddon. Basically. Mm-hmm. It is. It's the plot. We got to go yeah. to an asteroid, a giant meatball. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> made of cake. It yeah. looks like oh, yeah. crusty chocolate cake. It yeah. does. It looks Everything's awful. dust and cocoa powder. Like yeah. that like really flowery cake that kind of has like a harder texture to it. Yeah. 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 It looks like that flour cake. Yep. We well, all the miniatures, the miniatures all look like, um, like this is Godzilla era, uh, <laughs> like miniature stuff. Like oh, we yeah. see, God I think the, gorgeous. it's the, uh, what is it? The United Nations Space Command Center or yeah. mm-hmm. something toward the beginning of the movie. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't help. I mean, it helps that it was made in Tokyo. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got some weird stories about like how this movie came about. Mm. Too, if you want to hear some of this. Uh, yeah. How did this movie happen? Some of this is going to blow your mind. Billy Finger. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So uh, Bill Finger, the, the co-screenwriter of this movie, uh, he co-created Batman. Say what now? Really? Yes. He was a comic book with writer. Bob he with Bob Kane? He co-created yeah. Batman with Bob Kane. Apparently he's what? the one who actually like put Batman in a cowl. Oh. Huh. Wow. Bob Kane's Batman had a, uh, what just do you call mask? it? The, yeah. the, like just the, the Zorro mask? mask? The Zorro yeah. mask. And he also like co-created um, Robin and the Joker. Sure. Oh, shit. God bless yeah. Bill Finger. Bill yeah. Finger. Yeah. Co-writer Finger. of the Green Slime. Goddamn treasure. 
Um, okay, so the movie takes place on a space Bob. station. Billy Bob Finger. <laughs> <laughs> Billy Bob Finger. William Robert Finger. <laughs> well, it takes place on a space station called Gamma 3. This is, uh, so this is the kind of talks to how this movie came about. There was in uh, Italy, uh, these movies, uh, they're called like the Gamma 1 series, and they take mm-hmm. place on a, on a spaceship called Gamma 1, right? And there's one called Makes like sense. War of the Planets and all, or, you know, these kind of things. I think there's four of them. That were directed by a guy named uh, Antonio Margarete. Margarete. <laughs> Margarete. <laughs> yeah. It's all coming back, right? It's like, what? So that's the guy Tarantino used uh, his name in Inglorious Bastards. All right. So he made these series of movies. Dominic the Coco. Apparently, he did this in like a month. He shot four movies and then they were released and actually did really well. This is an Italian. Uh, Japanese co-production and it's unofficially the fifth movie in the Gamma 1 series oh, yeah. because this is Gamma 3 mm-hmm. right, right. where it takes yeah. place. Interesting. Yeah. I looked up uh, Antonio Margaretti because I'm like, okay, so who the fuck is this guy? He directed <laughs> yeah. uh, Killer Fish with uh, Lee Majors. Oh my God. Okay. okay. Who was a $6 million man and recently yep. Ash yeah. Williams' dad. Uh, he did a movie that I am dying to see now uh, called Your Hunter from the Future. Ooh. Oh yeah. Wait, sounds, like that sounds yours like Looper. Is, is the name Y O R or like your, of, or like of the your <laughs> your Hunter <laughs> from the future. I am your. Yeah, I can't wait. I got. I'm going to check this one out. Will it, will it be a freak show movie? I don't know. But uh, so this is that's uh, that kind of explains um, how. So that's where the concept came from. And I guess that's uh, sorry. What was the lead actress's name? Lu- Luci- Luciana Lu- something. Luciana Paluzzi. Right, that and, and that explains her involvement in it. And she is a James Bond girl. She was in of Thunderball. She of was course, a she was. Yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah, she's yeah. got that look. She does have that look. Yeah, it's she just didn't weird, smile huh? one time. No, nope. oh. but she's got that oh, look. James, the please, Austin don't. Powers fembot. Oh, look. oh a- every God. single woman in this movie does. It is yeah. like fembot. Turned up to eleven, man. It is. How did I ever miss that? And like, I swear that like the hair gets taller as <laughs> it the movie goes taller. on. Uh-huh. It just keeps getting higher and, and those higher. Those amazing sparkly silver oh, yeah. dresses, sparkly. She's which in, might be she's those... in space, and she's introduced wearing like a silver sparkly jumpsuit. I yeah. haven't watched uh, Austin awesome Powers in a long time, but that's like the exact thing they're wearing, yes. right? Yes, yeah. it's the sparkly. Between yeah. it's between the fembots and then what they have Elizabeth Hurley wearing. Like, yeah, it's, it's all yes. covered. It's yes. all yeah. it's all in there. The, like yeah. the yeah. boob cut out. Boob window yep. dresses, keyhole, the like the keyhole, keyhole dress. yeah, like yep. fuck. Oh man, like yeah. I, it's distractingly <laughs> ridiculous. The hair, the makeup, the costumes, yeah. they're so 60s, like it makes you want to just vomit. But it's this right. is so, supposed to be in the future, yeah, yeah. But the future just like becomes more and more like the 60s, yeah, everything yeah. comes back oh, around, yeah, it comes yeah. Around. yeah, the funkadelic future, yeah. yeah, it's fucking great. It's like the 80s, everything future looks like 80s future, yeah. Yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's kind of it's, it's shitty. It's just got more wires on it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Lots of dials. Yeah. Still yeah. On those everything. little models. Dials. What are you talking those about? Those models were great. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fucking There's great. a rocket. They're launch. so cute. I know they're like so. I mean, I guess that's the thing that the Japanese do all these like you know really uh, detailed model work. Yeah. But the thing at this point that doesn't sell them is the fact that they there's no composites of like actors into the exactly. Track. Yeah. So it's like here's the hangar. And it's like, okay, there's nobody there. And then when you cut him for the close-ups, you know, it's a, then all of a sudden <laughs> guys are running around in like a scale version different. of yeah. the set. Yeah. Running around yeah. and not saying a goddamn word. Oh, this yeah. would be so quiet. Like, so quiet. quiet. Until, until like the last maybe 10 minutes. But yeah. not like space quiet. No. Saying, like, Just like people are not are short on words and there's no score. Yeah. And right. like, So there's a lot of uh, sound effects of phones hanging up. And, yeah. And shoes yeah. tapping along the floor. Yeah. Yes, a lot of running around it's, shoes tapping. It's almost like ASMR like sounds, you know? It's like yeah. those yeah. weird like soothing YouTube video sounds are like that's all the Foley work in this movie. It's like a fucking uh-huh. movie at this yeah. point. Except the monsters themselves. Okay, so let's uh, let's talk about the I plot of this film. I can't repeat that fucking film. sound. That sound was. What did you? What did I'm you telling you, it's like it's, it's like it's it's like a lot of metal detectors detecting something at the same time. Yeah, it's How not threatening. Like? Oh, I can't do that. Come on. No, no I don't think that. No. I can't even remember what it was. I can't like. do that. Me, 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 or something it's like, like a, that. Or... It's it's like a a squeak, but it's not quite squeaky. Yeah. It's, it's an it's, odd choice for yeah. your monster movie uh, sound effect mm-hmm. to have. Yeah. This at least if you counted up all the time. 
that that sound effect was going, it has to be like a half hour of this movie. Yeah. Oh, yeah. At least. It's not threatening. Just, it's not scary. It's just, it kind of gets it's, annoying it's after annoying. a while. It's really yeah. annoying, yeah. yeah. It's well, almost like that same kind of annoyance that like a theremin has after a oh, while. Oh, God, yeah. yes. I was thinking yeah. that. Like, you're just like, <laughs> okay, like, I get does, it. It Stop. doesn't sound like a theremin, but it feels it, like It's one. annoying like <laughs> yeah. a theremin, yeah. Yeah. It is. It's a really fucking odd choice. Really odd. Like, you could go for something a little more creepy than that. Yeah. But, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, so the plot of this movie, right? We're introduced to, uh, what's it? Lieutenant, uh, Ran- Rankin, Lieutenant Captain something, Captain Rankin. <laughs> I don't and know. he's and then like, Elliot. A, what'd you say? He was like Captain Squarejaw or something like that. Yeah, Jack yeah. Squarejaw. Jack, Jack Squarejaw. Squarejaw. With the little dimple in the, in the chin. Yeah. He's and recruited. The, the quaff. Right? Well, he the has rich like, mahogany I swear to God, that fucking <laughs> mahogany hair. It looks like a helmet. It yeah. Does. yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Everyone's got a helmet here in this movie. his head into something. Yeah. So he's Captain G.I. Joe, right? Because yeah. this is the thing about like movies of this era, especially like science fiction movies. I mean, you look at uh, Forbidden Planet or the thing from another world. It's like the military hierarchy is very mm-hmm. like everybody's still living in the shadow of World War Two. Yeah. It seems like. So they all do these like, uh, even though I would assume space would be like, you know, a naval thing. Right? Yes. Should be. I yeah. mean, they're ships. Well, I mean, yeah. And this, captains. And this admirals. Is, and this is in that weird... Uh, cloud of the whole Russian uh, yeah, scare Cold thing. War. Yeah, yeah. yeah. this is this there. is height of Russian scare right here. Yeah, is mm-hmm. that what this is? The green menace, maybe instead of the red, the red menace? menace. Maybe they do have red eyes. Yeah, mm-hmm. some there's layers. Mm-hmm. There are layers. <laughs> there's layers. To Subtle this. layers. Mm. Well, okay. So we're 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 told that uh, so, so there's an asteroid right that's detected. Yes, that's headed hurtling toward Earth. Hurtling at Hurtling. amazing yeah. speeds. Yeah, it's, it'll be here as in like fast t- as wires can take. You. It'll be here in ten hours. In ten yeah. hours, from the time they they notice it, it'll yeah. be there in ten hours. ten hours. So they're they're fucking in the future. Their detection for anything in space is shit. Apparently, yeah, because they uh, have yeah. ten hours from when they notice it to when it's yeah. gonna kill they them. They have they have no like qualms, like no hangups about. Oh, we can get up there. We didn't know it until now, but mm-hmm. we'll get up there in no time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. Go hop in the Wait, jet or ten the, the rocket. We'll get there in ten Gs. <laughs> Does this whole movie take place over less than ten hours? Yeah. yeah. Whoa. Well, yeah, because at one point they even like we have to move it up. It's going to be shorter time or whatever. Yeah, but that yeah. was just Crazy. till till the to getting rid of the rocket. They're they're sorry the asteroid. Their plan is to recruit this dude who's like uh, the best pilot or something. Yeah. Why is he so special? Why did. I don't, I don't know. He was on a mission before and, yeah. did, and did well. That hair. <laughs> but then he's retired. He and like, then like, he like get saved a mission. He saved a mission because that one dude made a mistake. Uh, so I think he made he's, many mistakes. He's just like a quick thinker. Gotcha. Like, well, dude, fuck that guy. God damn yeah. it. All right. So who are you talking about? Fucking Elliot. Elliot. Vince Elliot. Elliot. Who's he? He's the commander of Gamma 3. And also. Has a history a fuck up. with. <laughs> he makes Captain really bad Rankin. decisions. Yeah, they were like really friends, except. I think he sacrificed Vince. Uh, Vince Elliott sacrificed ten men to save one. Like many people died because he tried to save one man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So they put him on. They give him command of a space station. What'd you do? I, I think that's. Oh, well, I think Naturally. that's. Yeah. in charge of hundreds of people. Give him more people to be in charge of. That's like making Riggs and Murtaugh captains to try and make uh-huh. sure that they don't cause more damage. Yeah. <laughs> that's a deep cut for your lethal weapon people out there. That's part four. Uh-huh. Yeah. So no, they're trying yeah. to like put him. This is them putting the him behind a desk. Yeah. Basically. They're so like, he's get not on the as field. far away from Earth yes. as we can possibly send yeah. you. Yes. We're gonna put you on a space station. Don't fuck things up anymore. Take your girlfriend with you. Well, ha ha! But there's ha. also something going on there. Explain that, Sean. Well, there's a love triangle, as there should be in space. <laughs> Obviously, That's how you keep space interesting. I mean, how else are you gonna have fun at those sexy parties? Uh, yeah, the sexy <laughs> oh, that, space parties. That martini party <laughs> oh they have God. in the middle of this Ooh, movie is insane. Oh, well, this we've is got Jack Squarejaw. Yeah, we but we know that there are martini parties in space stations yep. in the future. Thank, Thank God. God. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Something if you guys have ever you. seen that episode of Batman, the TV series, like the, oh, the Adam West that's one. That's what this felt like. Where, yeah. Okay. But the one, this whole thing felt the like. The one yeah. where <laughs> Bat, the, there's one episode in particular where Batman goes to like a martini party at a bar and is like doing the, 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 the bat dance. Yep. Yeah. The bat dance. That, I that's was it. like, is this is like extra cut scenes from that just thrown in the middle of this movie because that's exactly what it looks like. I think yeah. that's just how people in the 60s got yeah. down. Yeah, no, I'm, it's... Well, 
I was it's watching the, the, like, some of the just dancing. Can't get out of an orgy. <laughs> the, some of the dancing of the, the extras in the background. Oh, the extras it's by the Oh, my God. You're that one couple. Oh, that one couple. The guy mm. who looked like Roy Scheider. Yeah. Like, yeah. Back there. In the, yep. But you're wondering if this is a movie that's shot in Japan with an entirely Japanese crew. It's a Japanese movie for right. all intents and purposes. Yeah. But it has a complete cast of American actors. Mm-hmm. White How American actors, get, yeah. we should say. There's yeah. not a black person on this. Yeah. Map. That's true. And How then, did they get all these people? In this movie, those are all like actual military, like uh, yeah. active duty military dudes who are That's on the base. That's why they suck. <laughs> yes. That's oh. why they're terrible. And That's if anyone thinks we're building like... space stations <laughs> and living in space without the help of Asian Americans, they are dead wrong. <laughs> yeah. They just couldn't find any in Japan in 1968. Apparently, apparently. You know what? Then I applaud them. They look like they're having fun. <laughs> but like <laughs> yes, now, they were right. Like what? We're we're on our R and R time making a movie. Yeah, we're we to make a fucking movie. That's but awesome. it, I mean, now it makes sense that why that yeah. martini party, why they were trying so hard to get into frame and to like be noticed. Yeah, like those extras were like dancing particularly bad to be noticed. Yeah, is what it seemed like. Were they dancing bad, Michaela, or is this the <laughs> dance the of the future? It might be my interpretation. They were no, like, well, I th- it was it was something, <laughs> and it was bad. But I'm I like, just, is no, that like, dancing in 1968? No, or are they I, trying to do a feature dance? No, because around. I'm remembering like old six, like laughing, like old 60 shows. They had like the Go Go Girls and stuff. Yeah, this was not dancing. No, no, they were this just was, flailing this was, uh, around. I mean, <laughs> they at least like had the fucking was twist back then. Right? You know, yeah, like that was yeah. that was dance. Or the moves. twizzle. <laughs> but these are like fucking alien moves. I yeah. don't know what the fuck those people were doing. But it was choreographed because they were matching each other's yeah. moves, doing this weird yeah. fucking... Yeah. I'm trying to mime it right now. But there was that well. one couple it, yeah. that was just kind of like pushing each other back and forth at the one point, yeah, you know? Yeah. Like. <laughs> You'll never see it. Yeah. You'll, You'll yeah. never see it. Unless you watch the green slime. Yeah. Sean was yeah, like mime true. dancing just yeah. now. I'm very good. <laughs> <laughs> um... Yeah, so the uh, so they have to so uh, uh, Rankin has to go and Rankin he has to go and team up <laughs> with Elliot. Oh, did you you explain the love triangle? What happened there? Oh, oh yeah. no, no. Yeah. Uh, we have uh, we've got Jack Squarejaw. Yep. And we have Vince Elliot. Yep. Who are former like best friends? It feels like right. And then Jack's used to be girlfriend. Right. What's her name in the movie? Yeah, exactly. Luciana. Rhonda? No. I don't. <laughs> That's not right. What is her name in the movie? Uh, she she's the Liv Tyler Dr. character. Dr. Elke. No, Dr. She's doctor. She's a doctor. She's she a, doctor. a doctor. Yeah. Well, the doctor, the doctor redhead, we'll call her Dr. Red. Bond girl. Bond girl. Yep. Has left. Yeah. For Jack so, Square for, Jaw for, for some Vince time Elliot. now. For they, some time they've now. Been, yeah. They've been apart for some time now. And apparently she told him she never wanted to see him again. Nope, never again. Oh, no. The never last again. Time they were together. Oh. So does this cause jealousy in the part of uh, Captain Elliot? Absolutely, a little bit. Absolutely, yes. <laughs> Fucking yes. paranoid. <laughs> Jesus. He says no, but this is what He's the movie is actually lying. about, right? Oh, yeah. The movie is about these two guys and this girl. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And there's also space monsters. There's also space monsters. Also space monsters. With crab hands. Yeah. <laughs> and also live wires, like electrical wires. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes, yeah. Well, this, okay, well, we got, we got to get to the monsters. Electric but lobster claws. The uh, this this love triangle. I guess <laughs> we are the, the electric lobster claws. Yes, and we're here to rock your face. Well. <laughs> this is a new band. Oh, that's our surf band. Oh, yes. <laughs> the electric Good lobster one, Sean. claws. Yes. yes. Copyright 2007, 18 Saturday Night Freak Show. Yeah. Yay. All years. <laughs> the electric lobster years. claws. Yeah. Things I'm not going to remember until I go back and re-listen. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh my electric god, I can see Michaela on the drums. Lobster claws <laughs> with. Lobster claws. Yes, <laughs> well, that's, you I'll answer. do it. I yeah. love it. <laughs> uh, but this, this, these characters, right? It's like face. there's something about Obviously. like uh, um, you guys got to tell me if you got this too. It's like Captain Squarejaw comes off as like I mean, as soon as we see this guy, just his face, right? I'm like, this he, guy is going to be face, the guy yeah. who's going to go in there and take charge of everything oh, yeah. and fuck everything up because he's like, I'm right and you're wrong, and mm-hmm. you know. Right? Uh, Captain Elliot mm-hmm. has a more likable face, and you're like, he's going to be the guy who will eventually like sacrifice himself to save the space station. This is your whatever. initial impression, yeah, like okay. right off yeah. the bat. Okay. I'm like, this is how the, the trajectory of this. He's going to be right all the time, and it starts out right at because the the like general guy, whoever it is, right off the bat, he's very much like, I don't have to tell you what's going on, and he's like, no, obviously you don't. I'm like, well, yeah, you do because <laughs> we you don't need to know. tell him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, we need to know. Yeah. 
Yeah. He's very much like it the whole time. Like, I don't have to tell you. Yeah, you do. No one else knows. Well, they're trying to... We, we think he's going to be a hot shot. Yeah. Yeah. But so. it doesn't turn out really no, that way. No, it does I was surprised what we're they were doing surprising. with his character. And both of those guys were the opposite of what yeah. I expected. Yes. Because you got Captain Square Jaw ends up... Well, his personality, his demeanor is gruff. He's like a John Wayne kind of guy who wades in there and is like, we're going to do this. We're going to do... He's very decisive. Yeah. And he mm-hmm. orders people around, right? Yeah. And Captain Elliot is like, I mean, I guess he's like concerned about the the weirdest fucking things. Like, we're, you know what? The, there's aliens on board. I'm going to blow up the station. You can't blow up the station. I'm taking command back from you. We're like, just blow up the station. He's very what? insecure. <laughs> Jean Luc just blow up the damn ship. Is that ship? what it is? He's insecure. Because yes. that guy is on his ship, yes. he has lost his fucking space. Yes. Mind. Yes. yes. Space madness. Yep. <laughs> space. Madness. <laughs> as it is in a case of the space madness. It's a red button. You won't touch it, will you? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I love that. I miss Ren and Stimpy. Oh Jesus, what's going on? There? Uh, yeah, so so this uh, case of space madness sets in, and this guy and just, just makes like the weirdest and most worst awful. decisions ever. Yeah, yeah. Yep. constantly throughout the entire. He's just movie. he's so desperate to save the day. That's what it is. Yeah, he's I, so desperate. He fucked up once before. He's yeah. just like, no, we will. We we can't. We can't leave any man behind. Right. We will save the ship. Like he doesn't want. He can't let go of anything. Yeah. And it's and it's just gonna bite him in the ass, Colin. Yeah. Yeah. Over and over again to the over point where Sean again. wanted him dead. Yeah. At I, a certain point, I'm just like, yeah, just I fucking die from your bad decisions. Yeah. Ugh. I was kind of surprised though that the like romance angle wasn't played up more than between uh, Captain Square Jaw and uh, Doctor Doctor Red. Doctor Red. They're very much like I mean not him, but she was very much like I'm done with you. This yeah. is over. We're j- like don't touch me. We're just dancing. Yeah, and she yeah. doesn't. Correct me if I'm wrong. She doesn't like. You know, she kind of feels still has feelings for him, but they don't push that on her side. At all, I didn't really movie. feel yeah. that. I didn't honest. either. Like they want you to think it, and uh, she probably does, but they don't. Like, yeah, they don't make you feel that throughout this movie. No, because then, because then at the end, she switches sides very quickly. Did she switch? She, but she was more concerned about him going back than I she think was she's her concerned boyfriend. About both of them. Mm-hmm. She didn't show concern for the other guy. He said, "I'm going to go back," and she literally didn't say a word. I think. Uh, she may have been like, she may have been on my side, just like, all right, Jesus, you're fucking, you're fucking nut. After, you, after you've already tried to destroy the ship like several times. All right, we're going to have to get to that, too. Okay, so anyway. So anyway, there's green slime in this. Yes, <laughs> on so this they, asteroid, yeah. to the asteroid, there's puddles of green slime. Yes. This stuff, like, breathes and, and blows. It looks like cabbage covered in green jello. Mm-hmm. Very true. Yep. And it yeah, hitches a ride. Mm-hmm. Back with one of the, they do actually blow up the uh, asteroid. They're they successful do. in their much quicker than an Armageddon. Yes, that's true. They get that shit. They're efficient. Oh yeah, they get it. Yeah, they dig holes like, for no reason. Yep, no reason. Just so they can put bombs on top of the asteroid. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and yeah. that bomb was tiny. tiny. For like how tiny big bomb. that asteroid is, it was like the size of a lunch cooler. You know, yeah. were those like, the <laughs> detonators? I thought they, the they like put it down on there. Yeah, they, that's like, what I thought too. I remember them yeah. drilling a hole, and it's yeah. like, okay, we're well, going like to take these things like, out of the canister. Two bombs. Yeah, that's yeah. one. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure what's going on. I don't know what's going on there. I don't. Pretty, pretty goddamn powerful bombs if they're that small and blew up right. that whole but, yeah. whole asteroid. But this well, is they know what they're doing. This is yeah, yeah, very true. But this is technically not like the main point of the movie. No, so right. they kind of they'll brush past it. Yeah, you know, you don't need to pay attention to it. I guess. No, that movie is made much later. I suppose there's a a plot point made there where we got to move the, uh, uh, this is, I think establishes that conflict between uh, Rankin and Elliot, right? We got to move the timetable up to blow up the asteroid because it's accelerating toward the earth. Right. And so there's one guy who's out there and it's like, you got to wait for him. And like, we're not, we got to get on the, you know, as the voice of reason, it's like, we're all going to die if we don't get, there's no time. He's off there doing whatever the fuck he is. It's yeah. the little shades go. of the Martian, right? Yeah. We got to, yeah. you just got to go. We got to go. Yeah. Otherwise we're all going to die. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. The Martian ripped off the green slime, ladies and gentlemen. Mm-hmm. I heard Probably. It first. And Armageddon. I mean, yep. Definitely Armageddon. I, I just watched The Martian. I am feeling more rip off from Armageddon than The Martian, <laughs> if I'm being honest. <laughs> well, because the guys end up playing the same kind of uh, archetypes, I suppose. It's, it's very you know. similar. Um, so anyway, this green slime 
A little bit of it. Just a bit. Just a bit. Just a green, smidge. Green suds. We'll call green it. suds? Yeah. yeah it's mm-hmm. the green Which suds. Which is kind of what it looks like when it's multiplying. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hitches a ride on a suit. Somebody's leg. Mm-hmm. Not, not unlike the symbiote in Spider-Man 3 Basically, that yes. jumps a out of Tommy Gu- yeah. McGuire's moped. Oh, a little there was bit. that <laughs> moment, though, where the guy's like, you know, in his space gear, bent over the stuff, where I'm like, this is, uh, if, it's gonna, if this shit this jumps up alien. and grabs yeah, it. Yeah, it's right alien, yeah. But it turns out better when he comes running with his hands in the air, like, look, I found a new species. And fucking Jack Square Jones is like, fuck that. <laughs> Leave, Leave it. it here. Literally Break. grabs it out of his hands and throws <laughs> it on the ground and smashes it everywhere. There's we don't no, have time. There is Great. nothing this movie loves more than throwing stuff. Throwing oh, everything. Throwing everything. <laughs> like, like anything in this actor's hand, immediately thrown it at, at the green I wonder if they, I wonder if they had to tell him to stop at one point. Like, you can't throw everything. Well, these guys are <laughs> in their hand. <laughs> everything becomes a deadly weapon. It doesn't yes. matter. Deadly, desperate. deadly. <laughs> if it's they, your helmet. Oh, yeah. Helmet. <laughs> you shoot your gun once, it jams, and then you throw it. Laser that happens like three jam. times. <laughs> Laser guns jam three times. Mm-hmm. Laser guns yep. jam. Nothing to jam. Right? They're lasers. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what, do you have a clip in there? The, I've only got so many Maybe laser runs crystals out of like, in here. Maybe it's a, a crystal and yeah. it runs out or something like that. Yeah, literally bad. But it, all, after one Jedi. shot, it's a pretty shitty gun. But Plus I appreciated it each time they threw it. They nailed one of those things yeah. in the eye. Yeah. Every single time, yeah. like dead shots. Yeah. It's amazing. Maybe uh, that's his strength. Yeah, maybe, right? maybe he had spears on his first mission. That's what I'm saying. These guys are. Just like, give yeah, them, he like, hit his little button. He's like, my strengths throwing things. <laughs> Why not give him like a harpoon gun then or something? You know, give him something yeah, a little bit. Yeah. It would be great you know? if he was just like really good at the net gun. The net gun. Yeah. <laughs> Call like that shit some, a mile just away. Stick some, stick some shit to a wall and it never gets out. He's really good at the net gun. They do yeah. try to yeah. net gun the green, green slime at one point. Oh they do Their because you encounter. have to have a, a net gun and a set of laser rifles. The laser rifles, this is in the years before Star Wars, right? Yeah. So laser gun are just kind of like I don't know what the hell I mean it's a light beam of some yeah. type but mm-hmm. it's like it just be, without the correct uh, sound effects on it it's like really unimpressive yeah. it's just kind of like okay you're turning a light on yeah. and then and something they move sparks slow. on the other end like the lasers yeah. move kind of slow yeah. yeah 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 they haven't advanced the technology <laughs> of Star Wars yet yeah mm-hmm. apparently like, this is slow <laughs> shit yeah <laughs> It's like a, that was exactly yeah. it. That yeah. was the sound, and that was the, about the speed of it. Yeah. Yeah. You can imagine. It's just a bit faster than turning out a flashlight. Basically, yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Well, this green stuff. So while the uh, we see the key party, the martini party. Yeah, the same champagne. thing. Uh, it's champagne. Celebrating the fact that they've you know uh, saved the earth from imminent destruction. Of course. Uh, this green slime gets irradiated or something in the decon chamber. Yes. Mm-hmm. And because of that, it grows. Into a triffid. I don't know. You ever seen Day of the Triffids? You know what I'm talking no, about. The no, movie no. about it's uh, there's like a, a, these comets happen and the uh, and these things uh, they grow on plants and they turn this giant stalk like uh, hmm. plant hmm. creature that walks around. That's kind of what this reminded me of. They're like, how would you describe these creatures? I was saying it's like a pineapple with tentacles. Kind of. Yeah. You know what it reminded me of? Um, and a big red eye. Mm-hmm. You know in Fright Night. When he's introducing the movie with the squid people who, who, uh, yeah, that's from Humanoids from the Deep. <clears throat> yeah, that's what it looks like. Humanoids yeah. from the Deep, where they're just running around wrapping around people with their yeah. squid arms and everything. Yeah. That's that was my kind of my first impression. It's like kind of feels like that, but way less mobile and way more uh, Japanese children. And, there are Japanese yeah. children in these costumes. <laughs> yeah, because they're, like, they they're like four feet tall, they're really yeah. short. It's like one well, big the, one. The first this is like, yeah, like yeah. This they're is real like short. critters. These things. That's what yeah. I was gonna say. It's like critters. Yeah. Like you get the one big one at some point. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. Well, there's steal this, my fucking the, references. Yeah, sorry. You don't fucking like critters. But they've Back got little, they've got red uh, crab crab uh, <laughs> arms do. on the end of their lobster, or lobster arms, yeah. Sorry, on the end of their tentacles. Yeah. Uh, they're covered with like seaweed. That's someone digging through a prop room going. Just throw the shit out. Just throw it on there, What's man. What's menacing to... What would you not want coming at your face? Oh, yeah. fucking lobster claws. There's a whole bin of these. Obviously. <laughs> yeah. These are state-of-the-art uh, designs here they for 1960... Kind of, no, I don't and know. And they do kind of look like pineapples with, with yeah. what look like giant mouths that open up to reveal yeah. the eyeballs. Like a relatively small eyeball for how yeah. big their body is. It actually kind of reminded me of uh, some monster designs from Monsters, Inc. Yeah. It's yeah. Monster. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. a monster from, uh, I think one of the first times I saw it, it was, um, it came from outer space. Oh. 
in the fifties had a one eyed yeah monster blobby. Yeah, it actually, yes. it was a blob, right? Yes, with one eye. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, which would have been about what eleven years prior to this mm-hmm. movie. The uh, the cover art we got here reminds me of the aliens from The Simpsons. It is. Oh yeah, the oh, Kang and Kodos. Yep. Oh shit. Yep. Wait, hold on. <laughs> oh, there it is. Oh, there we go. That there. guy. Bravo. That's Look it. at that. That's it. <laughs> Michaela has a tattoo. She does. Yes. <laughs> I was wondering what the hell you were doing. I'm like, <laughs> what's going on? I have a tattoo of Kodos on my leg. Yes. Wow. That's what it reminds me of it's on the like cover art. a spinning art. image. Yeah. If you mm-hmm. just put a space helmet on yeah. it. Yeah. Wow. Shit. Mm-hmm. Wow. Oh, that's what the cover art looks like, or the poster, but in the movie, they're clearly Japanese children yeah. in these costumes. Clearly. clearly. At least oh, yeah. the small ones. <laughs> they cannot <laughs> see very well. They, there's no way they can see no. out of this, right? The, like, they're just bumbling around. Oh, yeah. And the, they're like, oh, don't worry, we'll get it. Just keep walking. Keep yeah, walking. It's a rubber suit. Yeah. Don't worry. Yeah. If you walk yeah. into a wall, yeah. you're not going to get it. Again, it's like Monsters, Inc. when Boo's dressed up as the monster and yeah. she's just bumping into stuff. Yep. That's what yeah. it is. Uh, that's basically yeah. what it looks like. I know. I it told like you. Boo. It does. Oh, my God. Quake in fear, Earthling. We, as yeah. we stumble yeah. our way through the hallway. It's just <laughs> Boo. We're going to say the poster art for this is I was just going to say, I love this poster art. Like that's fantastic. That's a good tattoo, right? Right? Yeah. That's so cool. That's what they call that ray gun gothic. I is believe like so. the idea yeah. for this is like because yeah. the, the, the lady here on the on the cover, she's in one of those silver skin tight uh, spacesuits yeah. with the bubble helmet where the yeah. whole thing is a bubble. Right, it's fantastic. She stuff. just needs one of those blasters. Yeah, she needs, like yeah. Does she have it in the other hand with the discs around? Right. Her? No, yeah, she's yeah. got yeah. one hand and then you. But you can't see the she's other holding one. Right? She's, she's holding a lobster claw. Yeah, okay. she's holding the lobster claw. Yeah. Ah, Outside she's, of Gamma. Yeah, yeah, she's look yeah. this poster up. It's she's like it's great. I mean, great sixties era sci fi stuff. Yeah, it's not relevant to the movie at all <laughs> because she does no fighting. She's not in space. Like she whatever. Never has a bubble helmet on. No. Nope. Yeah. Um. But this but was that time. Awesome. <laughs> this was that time in movies though where you could make a poster that had nothing to do yeah. with the movie. And it looks that's just so how it was. cool. <laughs> well, it's that's kind of a represent a representation of the monster, but it looks cooler in the illustration. Yeah, than the yeah. Movie. yeah. It very much it does. Does. It's also like ten times the size because there's little dudes kind of going around him. Yeah, yeah. right. So that's a giant monster. That's what you promised. Just one, but it turns mm-hmm. out. As we're told in one of those great uh, sci-fi, uh, you know, like uh, scientist scenes where they sit somebody down in front of the monitor and it's like, look, here's the uh, the cell from this organism splitting and like, oh, my God, like, you know, look at the rate yeah. at this rate. I'm like, this yeah, is this the is thing. the thing. Yeah. 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 And so then they're like, shit, that means that there could be more of these somewhere else on the station. And then they have to go looking for them. Mm-hmm. And this leads to the discovery of a bunch more green slimes. <laughs> and what the green slimes do. Because we have our scientist who's kind of giving our exposition as we go along. As don't to, kill them. Don't kill them. They God damn it, do Preskin, that. why not? <laughs> <laughs> don't kill it. We have to bring it back and study it. But again, uh, Gary Lockjaw. Always. What's his name? Gary Lockjaw. That's Gary Lockjaw. It. Gary like Lockjaw. That's it. Wow. <laughs> Jack Squarejaw. Jack Squarejaw. Jack <laughs> Gary Lockjaw is great. Is uh, that is that Elliot? That sounds like his arch nemesis. <laughs> is, I was gonna say, is Jack that Elliot? Jack John Gary Lockjaw. Yeah, uh, that's wonderful. Yeah. That's a comic we'll get a, book I'll get right a, there. I'll get them mixed up. If that's that's the, wonderful. It'll be his evil twin. An eighty seven yeah. <laughs> show. It's got to be like what was the yeah. Flash somebody or Buck, uh, yeah, something. Um, Buck Rogers, Buck Rogers, Duck Dodgers, <laughs> in the 24th and a half. Yes, <laughs> oh man, yeah, 50 sci fi, man. This is you know, the other thing that like struck me when we we're watching this, this is 1968, mm-hmm. yeah, right. And at some point, I'm sitting there going, like, well, you know, I mean, they're shooting this the best they can. This is probably the most they can afford and the best they can design. Uh, 2001 A Space Odyssey came out this year from Dear MGM. What? Dear wow. Lord. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Planet of the Apes. Man, vision will take you a long year. way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No kidding. Does yeah, that change like your. Yeah. This is what matters. Yeah. It feels like a 50s movie. Oh, in yeah. That definitely. Regard. This is, yeah. Because even, like, were you here when we watched Forbidden Planet? Uh, wait, which one was Forbidden Zone? With that was the Danny Elfman. Okay, one. I did not watch Forbidden Planet. Well, Forbidden Planet's this, uh, I mean, I think it's a milestone, uh, you know, uh, sci fi movie from the 50s, so it's like 56 or something, but it was a big budget deal, and Leslie Nielsen's in it. <laughs> but it has like it basically sets kind of a template for what Star Trek would become, mm-hmm. you know, out of this. So it's got that kind of, and Star Trek was at 66, so Star Trek is running. Right? right. 
probably uh, when this movie comes out. Mm -hmm. I think you're like, wow, I was actually giving this movie a little more credit than it probably deserves in my mind. Going like, well, they're doing okay. But then it's like comparatively to everything (laughs) else that's out at the time. True, but it's also Tokyo and in Italian was it someone else? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So Japanese and Italian. It's Japanese Italian baby. I mean, the, the love part. triangle. <laughs> love triangle is Italian. The monsters are Japanese. There it is. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. And the yeah. actors are, uh, and the drama is uh, American. Yes. <laughs> and dubbed by the Italians. Yeah. <laughs> As it always is. There's some bad dubbing at certain points. In There's this movie. some very bad dubbing <laughs> yeah. at certain points. Mm-hmm. I think you just have to. But at least they're all like American speaking English. So when you dub them over, it's not you know you mm-hmm. don't have drastically off. Right. Uh, but then why is it off? Why is it even off at all? They decided then? to say something else at certain points. Yeah, yeah. 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 There were a couple of uh, yeah. in the editing. They're just yeah. like, well, this is this, but we need them to say this yeah. real quick. It's just like, all right, do it. Yeah, <laughs> just yeah. do it. It wasn't. It wasn't. I mean, there are way worse examples. Way worse. Sure. I mean, this yeah. one, like, it's only a few scenes here and there where you even notice it. But yeah. Yeah. For the most but, part, it's okay. Yeah, but those scenes are just like, whoa. Well, yeah. <laughs> he spoke three sentences and he mouthed half a one. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's bad. Yeah, but you get used to that when you watch a bunch of those. This is very true. Uh, 50, 60s and Especially and when you Godzilla realize it's movies. Japanese production, you're like, oh, it's Godzilla. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it, I guess that's the if you know if we can if you haven't seen it if we can convey the feeling of this it is kind of like at least in the the visual design of the miniatures right mm. the 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 that design is all gods that era Godzilla mm-hmm. very much so yes yeah so these green slime I mean they they like replicate on the ship there's scenes where they uh, they get off the ship and then we see like all these tiny little uh, you speaking know, of getting off yeah speaking uh, of getting uh, off what I, have from uh, this movie Michaela ro- ro- oh my god okay I need gifts off. of like half of this movie but <laughs> oh it's wonderful <laughs> right off the bat we get the uh, it, uh same old garbage throwaway line when he says like yeah, here's the latest like space nothing, reports right. oh, nothing same ever old exciting. garbage nothing yeah. ever exciting happens same on this old garbage in space it's not a massive <laughs> asteroid Lord. hurling towards yeah. us no nothing exciting no. ever happens Jesus. here there's a part where <laughs> that's where the audience is like oh everything's gonna be fine let's just watch this <laughs> we're nice all movie. fine here thanks yeah. how are you there's a part where Jack Squarejaw <laughs> says get me loaded and off again in 15 minutes you think you can get me loaded <laughs> and off again in 15 minutes <laughs> dear lord <laughs> Oh my God, I can see that was the exact moment that Mystery Science Theater was like, and uh, we yeah, need to like, do this ding, movie. Ding, 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 ding. Pilot. Yes, Jack, I think we can. <laughs> and then Pilot. After, after they blow off the, blow, blow off. After they <laughs> well, blow I mean, up no, the asteroid, they we get the line delivery of they finally got off. <laughs> <laughs> There was oh some, boy. yeah. Like, can That's you, not the long can you get off? Like this time, off, I heard coming. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think yeah. it happened several times. There's a it, lot of get off. We got were off. more yeah. innocent people back then. Apparently. This is how like uh, the internet's. But get me loaded and off again. That one is like get me loaded and that off. could be taken yeah, in so many ways. Going, is everyone else hearing this? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Am I the only one? Yeah. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> yeah, and then later on, can you get everyone off? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. We're certainly going to try, Captain. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's dedicated to his mission. Of course, he's That's very true, yes. Oh, the same old garbage is like, it's a goddamn patriot. <laughs> it's almost meta, like that that line's even uh, in that movie. You know, like, oh, same old garbage. Yeah. Same old garbage. Space garbage. <laughs> yep. Yep. More, uh, more we haven't had an incident here in 22 years. <laughs> <laughs> So where does that leave us? There's the tons of green slime like overriding the ship. There's a massive explosion. Was that when the one caused by uh, uh, Elliot? Remember that scene where there's like there's one guy on oh, the, the other doctor. side of the door. The doctor. The doctor, doctor goes, he runs goes in back to get his the, research. Doctor Prescott. And Fuck he's that locked doctor. behind an air an airlock, and they're yeah. like trying to flush these things in a contain them in a room or whatever. And they like. have yeah. done so. Yeah. In yeah. cell block in whatever. And cell he block went scene. back on his own accord to get his Vince research. Vince Elliot. Yeah. And fucking Vince... Gary Lockjaw. <laughs> <laughs> Gary Lockjaw. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck that. He's like no. I'm taking command again. We will again. save him. It's like he's trapped in a room with 30 of these things. You really think that he's going to be fine? The only way to do it is to open this uh, airlock. What a fucking asshole. And let them all out. And yeah. she goes and along with it. And lets them all out. And yeah. he lets them all out, and he's dead. But these are the scenes that play in like another movie is like, okay, the captain's being arrogant, and he's endangering the lives of his crew. Yeah. Here it's like, but the captain's making like these rational decisions, and this guy is like... 
no, I got to save this one guy, which I guess is his character flaw, yeah. right? He just yeah. does that over and over again. Over and over. Yeah. I got to save the one guy. I care yeah. so much. And then in doing so, let the fucking thing spill out all over the place. Mm-hmm. Did we mention that they electrocute people and they touch them with, with their, their crab hands? Oh, yeah. 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 They do. Electrical <laughs> lobster yeah. claws. Mm-hmm. They like slap them with their live wires yeah. and just like the sparklers fry them up. on the end. Yeah, they look yeah. at them. Yeah. yeah, I can't say it enough. You really need to find the sound of that these creatures make because mm-hmm. it is weird. It's weird and uh, Off. inexplicable and unexplainable, and it's uh-huh. fucking weird. Like even in the universe of this movie, why do the creatures make that sound? Like, right. Why do the creatures is it to feed them? on quote unquote energy, electricity, or whatever? They, that's the thing. Like if you shine a big bright light, they'll go to it. If uh, they're they're instinctively drawn to high voltage, uh, I guess it's the thing that we're saying. It makes them uh, multiply and grow, right? Yes. They, so they that- absorb energy apparently. Yeah. So that's why there weren't any of these things on the chocolate planet? Apparently. Or the no. chocolate asteroid, I'm sorry. the only there's thing no they had yeah. was the sun. Mm-hmm. Like, right. They're just the hanging was... out there. So they the can't get any bigger than slime. Yes. Basically, I got gotcha. you. There's not okay. enough of the energy pulling in to uh, make them bigger. Sure. Yeah. sure. But when they come to us, there's plenty of energy from right. us, from the equipment, from this goddamn space yep. station. And they that can arrange right. their molecules into a sentient being. Oh, I don't know how sentient they are. They basically know that, you know, attack, Light. try and get the, yeah. Get the energy. So they yeah. do their version of the, uh, I guess, the alien in the air ducts. Like that, their version is to follow the lights around that are on the back of these trucks that yeah. they're trying, that they're pulling through the hallways. The Austin and Powers uh, truck. Yeah, Basically. the Austin yep. Powers truck. The Cushman's, car. yes. Yeah. Oh, they even do a three point They do turn the three point just turn. like an Austin Powers. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Uh huh. So they're following all those lights. Yeah. And that's, I mean, that's their weakness. Hurting them with flashlights. Hurting them with flashlights. Yep. Mm-hmm. What is it, the. Bring the monitor car. Yeah, that's <laughs> because they, they had the yeah. light car, and <laughs> right. then they had to swap that out for the monitor car. We need now the something that you have a tablet, you know, that has this on it. Yeah, they had to have a gigantic a TV f- on yeah. mounted on a, on a cart. Yeah, Lord, it's fantastic Vision. stuff. You Vision. haven't, you haven't lived things. until you've like, seen. Like, what it. if we had all this, but in our hands? <laughs> well, there was the what was the scientific, uh, the medical um, machine that was. In the hidden in the wall, <laughs> like the it electronic. Like, oh yeah, uh, the particle analyzer. scanner. Well, that no, thing like was the, weird. The, the something analyzer. Yeah, just like, patient we're gonna analyzer. Turn this whole, yeah, we're gonna Electron- turn this whole wall. Yeah. Oh boy, it was amazing. Mm-hmm. They turn the yeah, it's a fucking hand scanner in fucking Star Trek. Yeah, yeah. yeah. here like, a like, wall of blinking lights. You know, no imagination never, from these people. But there's never. This is before computers, obviously. So no one ever thought that like you'd have words typing yeah. out on a screen. Nothing's it's labeled. Like Nothing is labeled. And yeah. And dials. Spectre but they're or, but their fucking language. visors are labeled. Oh my god, the excessive labeling on their gear. It'd be gear. better if it was just like up with an arrow going this way and down. <laughs> yeah. And arrow going there's this way. literally on the side of their visor where like it connects. It says visor. visor. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. It says visor. <laughs> That's why I was and then if you were, it said like front, back. If yeah. you were, if you weren't right sure, the other side of it says shade. Mm. Uh, yeah, so just in case. Used, so just in case you weren't sure, he used they it use once. He dies. He used oh, it once. When Elliot dies, he puts his Is visor there, down, like, uh, closing his eyelids. You yeah. Know? Mm-hmm. Oh god, that there's a spacewalk in this movie where yeah. they have oh to use god. it, space and they're like walk. they're trying to hoard the uh, or it's a space dive bomb. Yeah, with laser guns, jetpacks. Yeah. Does this sound exciting? Right? They have to. <laughs> Does it? <laughs> There's a, a couple dozen of these things on the hull. Yeah. And they got to go out there. Four guys are like. A bunch. Because when they show around. the wide shot, it's like a bunch of boogers ended up on the front of the yeah. ship. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like, it looks like the table of nose goblins. <laughs> There's a rescue. There's like a, it does. It does. The nose goblins. It's where the guy like dives down and picks that one guy up and gets him out of there when they're all coming. It's like exciting stuff. It is so exciting. Why you would just dive bomb things that can kill you if they touch you? Yeah. I don't know. Especially in the vacuum of space. That would be bad, I suppose. Electric, uh, static, I don't know. It's it feels jumping like out it. the hull, big metal thing. Oh, Jesus. Just, yeah. Can, no one ever's just like, let's just circle around them from 20 feet and shoot them. Well, yeah, you know yeah. what I was wondering? Like, when they, because this is, I don't understand the design of this ship. When you see the ship from outside the space station, gravity. It's, a, it's a Taurus. So it's right? designed yeah. around gravity. And, right. it's, and it's also labeled well. 
On the outside. On the outside. Yep. Mm-hmm. The dock, the, the, yeah, the front door. It's all there. Uh, Labeled. Labeling. <laughs> you got to have it. It, yeah. it looks the like painter's grade. tape. Yeah. But they have, they point to when they're outlining their plan, which I always love these scenes in sci-fi movies too, but like they have the uh, the map of the station up on the wall. Right. And I'm like, that looks like four interlocking uh, tauruses. Yeah. You know, or, you know or donuts. I think yeah. there are supposed to be levels. Are there supposed to be levels? Yeah. Okay, that would make more sense. But like, he's like, we got to get them over to C block. And he points at yeah. one of them and I'm like, oh, they're going to get them over there. And then they're going to eject that part of the yeah. ship. Think like uh, think like the malls, like malls maps, you know? Yeah, it's just a, like would have been better. Like, a, like levels ejected. over here, you're at Sears and then yeah. Macy's. They were yeah. color coded. So I suppose yeah. that's green level, blue level. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I got you. They were yeah. smart enough to think of like ejection, like to build it in parts. They had so they an ejection eject room. Yeah, didn't they? He said, get to the ejection room, or whatever. It was the evacuation room? Yeah. The evacuation room. Oh, uh, well, that's where the, the, like, the ships got. That's right. Alien quote, unquote, got to launched this. out of the ship. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in the space cruiser? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Quietly just floating out in space. Oh, yeah. There's everything, no like, this space, is an Sean. emergency. That was Launch that realistic. Ship. No, everything cruises uh, in this, except for when they're going 10,000 Gs. Oh that's my right. god! That's that right. We're not going fast enough. <laughs> Jams the control. And fast. he's, Those he's fucking to outrun the bomb. Fucking, when the yeah, that's exploded. in the beginning. He's fucking Jack Square Jaw. Like yeah. he can get up in ten Gs yeah. and push that fucking. <laughs> Even though his arms up. split open. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He, he's, he's the acting's fucking, a little varied. One guy's like in the seat, yeah. and he's like, oh, "I'm just gonna get up and you know, yep. I'm gonna wander around." Yep. It's because he's awesome. He's a fucking superhero. That's right. Because and he deserves to live. <laughs> the other guy deserves to fucking die. <laughs> Fuck that guy. Well, uh, your your crony there, uh, Gary Lockjaw. So he yeah. actually yeah. does die in the movie, and Sean was Thank a happy, Lord. happy man. He deserves it. Well, yeah. How does he die? How did he die? I don't remember. He got played the Bruce Willis. He sacrificed himself. Well, because this is again where he's like, uh, so he go. He's going back to help his. Quote unquote friend. Yeah. Captain Squarejaw is mm-hmm. going to go into the control panel. And because, of course, you know, I mean, this does because, follow like oh, the disaster this, movie thing where yeah, like the station the, can't connect remotely. Yeah. Because the, the nobody can ever exploded. connect remotely. It's Half the destroyed. station explodes. Yeah. So they have to get to the control panel. <laughs> Which looks like the entire station explodes. Yeah. We were very concerned at that point <laughs> in this movie. It's like, holy shit, did the whole thing just blow up? <laughs> Everybody yeah. oh died. My God. No, it's just it's a corner. Okay. Just see. Uh, but yeah, they have to get to the controls for a manual to engage the the manual drive to pilot this thing back into the atmosphere. They're yes. going to evacuate, bring the sh- the station down, right. right? And so Captain Square Jaws off. He's going to do this, right? Yeah. He's just like, I'll do it. And then uh, Elliot comes back. He jetpacks in <laughs> through the open door from fighting the, from leapfrogging over the the creatures oh, yeah. outside, mm-hmm. and he's like, "Where'd where'd Captain Square Jaw go?" Like, oh, he went off to do this. I'm going to go help him. Of course you are. Of course. Yeah. Of course. They're friends. But I'm like, this poor woman, right? Like, both of the guys in her life are now going to go off and, like, sacrifice themselves. Liv Tyler. <laughs> men, men yeah, Liv Tyler. <laughs> She'll be fine. Uh-huh. She's a gorgeous space babe. It's, this is very She'll true. be okay. She'll she's be a, okay. She's a doctor. Okay. Yeah. She's a doctor. <laughs> yeah. She's a She'll space be doctor. <laughs> She's a space doctor. Space yeah. doctor. She's gonna be fine. And her hair just keeps getting bigger as the movie goes on. And so it's full of yeah. secrets. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's, a, it's a glorious head of hair. Yeah. But yeah, so Duder, uh, he, uh, I think that oh, the the alien hugs him to death with the electric. Oh uh, yeah, 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 yeah. He gets because uh, his uh, his laser gun jams. Of course, of course, and, and he because... doesn't throw it. Yeah, I can't remember if he did it. It didn't help him. I think I think the, the, I think the other guy throws behind. it. I think the other guy yeah. throws it. It runs out, he drops it, and then the other guy throws it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's very sad. I yeah. miss the fact that the guy was actually dead until they said he was dead. I'm like, oh, okay, he's down, but he's still like, the, he grabbed him and took him back. He yeah. did. I'm like, no, nah, he's fucking dead. And yeah. then there's the ceremonial the, uh, visor closing. Oh, uh, that's what yeah. the, yeah, that's right. Shutting his eyelids. He just didn't want to leave his body behind. Yes, very true. That's what it was. True that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Again, you with the true that. That's two in a row. <laughs> Absolutely true that. I think we, what'd you say? You think you said dope last week or something? Yeah. <laughs> you said something. 
Well, I'll work you, something I think else you said next for, week. Uh, for show. I think. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I'll, I'll keep consult going. I like the it. Urban Dictionary for next <laughs> yeah. week's uh, mm, I like this. draw. <laughs> Um, what what does this say? Dat ass dough. I'm gonna use, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna use that one next week. <laughs> but he's Sean gonna re- he's gonna too. really pronounce it. Dat ass dough. Dat ass dough. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, you're right, Colin. You Dat joke ass. now, but it's actually gonna happen. Uh, so yeah, so so our uh, the guy he dies. But the thing that like that's bizarre about this is in the end even though uh elliot has basically sabotaged every single decision every single one every single one and (laughs) fucked everything up as much as he possibly can uh the eulogy is like you know we got to give him a posthumous uh the sure he's still a highest regards he's still i I recommend he be uh, that's like (laughs) that's like the end of uh what is it the the uh it's the scorsese movie the departed. The departed. The departed yeah. is like I recommend he be uh, uh, get the Medal of Merit. Like that's at the yeah, end of that fucking yeah, yeah. movie. Yeah, I recommend he get the highest award we can give him because he fucking died. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's yeah. a it's a brilliant and touching ending. And then they kick it's you out touching. with uh, and then he smiles. He's like, slime. I'm alive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I get the fucking girl. And he's yeah. like, Hey, baby, you know who's still alive? Mwah. This guy. I know. It's <laughs> like, actually Martin, because that's take what, us like, down. what should happen, right? Yeah. But uh, it didn't get that impression. Like, they're not going to end up together. Uh, as soon, yeah, as, soon as she not... heard the word posthumously, she was like, oh. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, you don't know, say. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, after they. After yeah, her I'm going to need face. consoling. Yeah. <laughs> and they took him down. Yeah. Good. After after fuck the that guy. Station Glad explodes. All green slime are dead. The end comes up. Yeah, there's not even a. There's not even a. uh, Yeah, there is. Uh, There's not even a uh, a hint of maybe some. No stinger. No stinger. No aliens. Maybe still alive. One little green spud hooked to the one of the escape ships. Nothing. Because there's the music kind of implies that it's going to be there. It's got that spooky theremin ish Mm -hmm. uh, music, which is usually you know where like the ship goes by and then you get a close up of the outside and outside one of the portholes is. A little yeah. speck of yeah, green. Yeah, I mean, green. That's let's, all we need. Let's be honest here. The music supervisor on this movie didn't know shit. He was asleep no idea what he was doing the entire fucking movie. He's like, I'm going for... You're assuming there was one. <laughs> right. <I'm> it <laughs> said there was. Really? Yeah. I wanted to be sparse yeah. Well, there was a... Stark. Yeah, yeah, but minimalist. It's, yeah, very minimalist. But it's weird that you'd have a minimalist movie score in 1968 where you were still in, like, you know, big orchestral... Right, yeah. 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 Just, it, what it should it's, have been. There needed to be a little... Uh, Something to underscore the events that were happening in this movie. And they is this don't the do biggest yeah. problem with this movie? The yes. Music score? It I think so. I mean, outside of the, like, could you accept some of the goofy shit that you're seeing? I can like, accept oh, this the, is kitschy no, from yeah. the time. Yeah. From this time, I can well, accept sure. yeah, all that other sure. shit. But the fact that they don't have, like, to emphasize what's going yeah. on with music, uh-huh. that's a problem. I mean, so we, quiet. Were, we were having fun with this whole fucking movie, but the only thing that took away was the mu- lack of music. Maybe we were having fun because it's just like, there should be music here. This yeah. is really weird. Yeah, because it's not like, I mean, you know, I mean, as far as like being directed, photographed and cut together, there are moments where if you're watching it with the sound off, which is basically the way that you watch <laughs> yeah, which it, is yeah. the movie. Uh, you can tell that like if there was some type of up tempo action score here. You know, because it's shot with them like running into rooms yeah. and doing somersaults and yeah. oblique you know. angles and everything. And yeah, just but it's not like there's absolutely no score. Well, there's a score, but it's you know, it's like it's basically not existent. It's sparse. It's yeah. few and far between. Like and I it's said, that last ten minutes it when starts it coming in more. But other than that, it's fucking quiet in this movie. Yeah. yeah, and even when there is like a score, I say that in quotations, but it's. It's barely a score. Yeah, it's not you know? uh, it's just tone. It's tones. It's yeah, it's more creepy it's than tones. actiony. Yeah. yeah. Right. You know, and that would be a great way to get your audience to kind of like refocus on or like highlight and punctuate things is to even yeah. if you just did a couple of like chords of just the instrumental of the Green Slime song under a few of mm-hmm. like the key moments. Oh, yeah. That, that would refocus anybody back into this movie. Yeah. You know? Yeah, kick in with that badass guitar. Yeah, because you know? that could get you behind your characters mm-hmm. at that point. You Absolutely. Should, should, should do should. like the fan score. You should we do the, the? Wait, no, I see it now. I it's see just the, us on the music box. No, I see the music box screening with a live orchestra. Uh-huh. Ooh, yeah. Oh. 
I'd pay to see that. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> With a new score by yeah. fucking somebody? Yeah, uh-huh. I'd go see that. Mm-hmm. That'd be great. <laughs> Why not? I'd like Why? to check that out now, having yeah. seen it. Needs yeah. a new score. Needs a new score. I think needs a new score. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But in, a new score might lend itself. Like, there might be a re-edit if there's a new score. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Well, I don't know. I don't know. Uh-huh. Well... I'll tell you what. We've talked about this at length. Maybe we should... Uh... Dat ass, though. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't me. That was Sean. That was Sean. Uh, so what we'll do, I'll tell you what, listener, uh, long-time listeners, you know what we're going to do. We're going to wrap this up. We're going to uh, go around the room and review the green slime, what our opinions were of the movie, and whether or not you should check it out, because you haven't seen this movie. Hopefully you've had fun listen, listening to us talk about it. We hope so. Uh, but first of all, we're going to answer some of your mail. So let's summon our mailman, Igor. Bring us the mail. Masters, masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising. Why, thank you, Igor. Thanks, Igor. He's where got the, a space suit on. I was going to say, where the fuck did he get those lobster claws from? Oh, shit. <laughs> Watch out. <laughs> but it's weird. He's doing the, like, danger, danger. <laughs> yeah. The lobster claws. It's wrong, it's, wrong movie, Igor. Yeah, he's putting everything together. Yeah. It's like, I, I only know a few things. <laughs> well, if he puts that little, uh, you know, fishbowl yeah, Put your mask down, on. goddammit. <laughs> His Very... doesn't say visor. He doesn't know what he's supposed to do. Yeah, yeah it's need, backwards. He it's needs backwards, those directions. Igor. It's <laughs> he backwards. needs those directions. Oh, he ran into the wall. Oh. Well, now we feel bad for Igor. Uh, well, I'll tell you what, if you want to keep uh, Igor gainfully employed, we would appreciate it. And God he... knows what he'd do if he wasn't. <laughs> exactly. This is what we're afraid this is what of. Because yeah. we don't know. So you no, can keep he, us alive, he keep this. him employed. He needs this. Uh, <laughs> by writing to us on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Saturday Night Freak Show. Or Twitter. At Sat Freak Show. By email. Saturday Night Freak Show at Yahoo.com. Or uh, on Instagram at Saturday Night Freak Show. We'll if, read your comments on the air. If you don't write in, he may just wander over to your town. You, you might don't, not you don't want, want that. that. You That's don't right. want that. We keep know how to handle it. Watching him. the yeah. right. We can keep him under control. Do you want no. a green slime situation? Because it'll happen. <laughs> right. It'll happen. Oh, it. He oh, kind no. of leaves a trail behind him when he, he walks. Does. Uh, so he does. It is green. Yeah. It's gross. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. Igor. Now oh, that we shit. put those we images really make in sure mind. he's out of the room. That's right. Yeah. So we're expecting to hear from you next week. Mm-hmm. Just saying. Okay, so about uh, our previous episode, Mortal Kombat, mm. which we watched last week. Mortal Nick Kombat. Siebel writes in and says, Mortal Kombat is still the best video game movie of all time. I was 10 when this movie came out and the most dominant Mortal Kombat player in my elementary school. <laughs> even though there wasn't any blood in this film, they finally made a video game movie that actually looked like the game. And even though Christopher Lambert, a.k.a. Thomas Jane Sr., was a bad casting choice, <laughs> Mortal Kombat, the movie, still stands the test of time. Who posted that picture? That was, I think, Nick. Posted was that Nick posted that picture? That okay. was comparing uh, Christopher Lambert... James Purifoy. James Purifoy. That's and then it, Thomas yeah, James. Yeah. James. Yeah. And it's like, it's like holy same. shit. They look exactly the same. Yeah. 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 I, I don't know that it stands the test of time, but I agree with everything else you said. Yeah, I mean, we <laughs> kind of talked about how yeah. shitty most video game movies are. Yeah. And if, even if they are good, they're not accurate to the game and this kind That's of the sweet spot true. in between those. Yeah. You'll have to go back and listen to our Mortal Kombat yes. episode to find out if we thought it was the best video game movie yep. of all time. Mm-hmm. Uh, about our movie Possession, mm-hmm. Windy Cindy, Windy, Windy, Windy City. Cindy. Well, uh, we're many beers in at this point. Uh, Windy <laughs> City Cinephile said, "I kind of enjoyed how this episode started out as a bunch of people who seemingly have no capacity for avant-garde filmmaking ranting about what they just seen, but then developed into an actual discussion with a f- few wor- worthwhile points. Not particularly impressed overall, but I might give the show a few more listens." Uh, Thanks. I mean, if you, I mean, if you made it to the end of the episode, Wait, you would have heard me name drop Lars von Trier, which is definitely an avant garde film. And I said I liked Antichrist. And I so I definitely have a capacity for that. That's not the problem. It's that that's not always what you want out of Who a film. Who is this? Uh, Windy City, Windy City Cinephile. Windy City. Cinephile. I appreciate the backhand okay. compliment. I mean, mm-hmm. I'm all. I, we don't always need like positive critiques of our show. Like you know, whatever mm-hmm. you, however you feel about our show, it's perfectly fine. 
I had a larger point, but I forgot what they said. Oh no! I, but, I, but I think there's a difference between that and saying we don't have a capacity for avant-garde. No, we film definitely have we a capacity do. for it, but it's not like you, just because we have the capacity for it, but we don't have to like it. Exactly. Yeah, like, that's just because we don't like that one doesn't mean we don't mm. understand any of them. You know. Well, eh. we also heard from Karate Warrior Two. Mm. Hi, Dom. He was going back and forth. Hi, seeing- best friend. <laughs> He wants to know, uh, since we've been doing the show for a while, what's the three worst movies you guys have had to review? <laughs> I, I assume you're asking I, like individually. I think so. I think we yeah, should go through. Yeah, yeah, I think oh. we should go individually. Do, do we need to do that? See, these are the good these Fuck. are the good moments. These All are right. good questions. These List are questions. Good yeah. Oof. Oh shit. Hold on. Three words. I'm glad I'm third in this because I can look up our whole shit. playlist. All right. Well, Michaela's only been here uh, for a year at this yeah, point. Yeah, so I've so got a shorter list. You got so, 12 movies okay. to go. Um, Dune definitely is one of them. <laughs> Dune is, I mean, I came into that with already a bunch of hate. <laughs> so that one movie didn't even get a fair shake for me. Um, but uh, Beyond the Black Rainbow is definitely another one. Um, I know what your third one's going to be. Uh, Want me to help you out? No, I. I mean, I. I found Waterworld to be surprisingly taxing. Like, yeah, it, it it, is, I don't think it, it was the wor- one of the worst movies I reviewed, but like, it, Metal Storm. Well, oh, Metal Storm. But that was yeah. fun. But like Metal Storm, like, I don't know. Waterworld, it just felt really exhausting. Even though it, like, I don't know. That was that was a long movie and. But not at the same time, not a lot happened. So mm. those would probably be my three were the three that I've done this year. You mean uh-huh. superfluous so. travels to the mountains of nonsense? Metal Storm is like an honorable mention. Yeah, I'm looking through our list as well. Oh. Hold on. Metal Storm, yeah. I've, All right, yeah. fine. I'll go. I yeah, get, I've go seen uh, uh, Mean Guns is by far the worst thing that I've seen. had to review on this show. That was, that was easy. Mm-hmm. Sharknado, I just couldn't stand. You can see that, yeah. You know, I'm trying to decide because we watched a lot of like uh, these, uh, like Japanese, like the something Black Rat saved the Green Planet. Like I hated yeah. those. Oh, I don't know Black the, Rat, yikes! Yeah, Ugh. yeah. So, I'm glad I wasn't here for that one. Or even uh, <laughs> the lauded uh, Nausicaa, the Valley of the Wind. Like I yeah, fell asleep that during was just, that movie. Oof. So yeah, I, if I was to narrow it down to three, like what was worse? Uh, definitely Mean Guns. I might actually bump Sharknado. Yeah, go with like black black rat and uh, Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind. Uh-huh. I think that's a pretty fair list from yep. what I right. know of those movies. Like, I got mine. Go ahead. Brutal. Go ahead. Uh, yeah. uh, wait, I lost it. What was the one we said? Mean Guns. Mm-hmm. Mean, that was oh, that Jesus was one of the all time. Yeah, that was one of the all time bad. Whew. Not uh, fun enough to be good no. bad. Just like two no. hours. And you think of... it would be with uh, Christopher Lambert and uh-huh. fucking <laughs> Ice Tea? Ice tea. Uh-huh. You think it would be, but it's not. Um, Mean Guns, Rawhead Rex. Oh, that, yes, that's, that's right. One yeah. Fuck, I forgot about yeah, that one. That's one of mine. That movie. I forgot about that one. Shit. That was and my that was my first inaugural freak show episode with fucking Rawhead Rex. It was, yeah, <laughs> it, was the, it was the wrong one to come in on. Yeah. <laughs> Um, you knew what you were getting into at that point. You're like, oh, like, it's gonna uh, be like this. I think we all fell asleep at one point during that. Yeah, and uh, just because it's, I think it's one of the more recent ones. Uh, uh, Beyond the Black Rainbow. Sorry, yeah. Colin. Yeah. I was not. Oh, oh damn. damn, not a fan. Of that movie. <laughs> yeah. I may, I may look back through this whole thing and find one that's worse, but I don't think so. Maybe. No, I don't know. Cool World. I don't know. Didn't mm, like Cool World. Yeah, I don't like Cool World, but it was. Uh, yeah, but I'll say worse. Beyond the Black Rainbow. That was. I'm gonna have to third beyond the black rainbow. Oh Jesus! Um, second rawhead Rex. <laughs> Fuck you, Colin. <laughs> I, know. I picked that. But I liked it. I was like, oh shit. I'm gonna second rawhead Rex, and I'm going to end with Ghost in the Shell. Oh, yeah. I was really bored with that. Oh. Was really yeah, the only good thing about that was we had to do it three times. Oh, the God. deliriousness <laughs> of having to go through it all those times. That was the good that part. Was, that was that was the only thing that made it interesting. Maybe no, I don't know. That made it worse. That was a long. Yeah. That might not have been my pick if I had only did it once. That was when we were having the Oof. audio gremlins. Man, yeah. oh boy, yeah. that was hard. That was man. a long night. Woo. Well, all right. Uh, I hope you uh, liked our answers. Uh, again, yeah, write in, ask us any question you want. We'll uh, it's an open floor here. Join the freak show family. Uh, but what we're going to do now, we're going to go around and review the movie, starting with Michaela. What did you think of this movie? What did we watch? Green, green, green Slime! slime. <laughs> I forget sometimes. I'm sorry. Oh, wow. Green Slime. I mean, this has been something we've been talking about doing for a while now. That trailer yeah. is, like, iconic. I, I How can I not recommend this movie? It's 
it the poster is beautiful the music the original song is incredible the one song is the great. one song is incredible <laughs> one song um, the costuming is insane in the best way and it just yeah. gets more and more insane like as the story progresses the amazing 60s like fembot attire of all the women is delightful it's mm-hmm. something you don't get in cinema anymore yeah unless it's purposeful like austin powers you know right but it wasn't purposeful in this movie. That was just how people dressed at this time. Uh-huh. Um, oh my god, the like key party, like like uh. martini party scene. I could watch that. Like this, I could see being like a hangover movie for me. I could see myself like hung over on like a Sunday afternoon, just like watching this and laughing my ass off at it. And like, I think it's good for that. Um, I I mean, there's so much to love about this movie. I think. Uh, I really hope that the Mystery Science Theater episode is available because I really want to see it. Me too. Um, yeah. There's a lot to make fun of here, and like, yeah. not. I mean, we just we barely scratched the surface with, with like the sexual innuendo, like comments. Oh man! But there's so much more that you could dig into if you so had the much. time. Uh, yeah, you gotta watch Green Slime. It's great. Holly, what did you think? Uh, yeah, absolutely, 100% agree with you. This movie was so much fun. Um, it, it was just. Oh God! I mean, it's it's the quintessential B-list drive-in crap show movie that's just wonderful. It's what I would do to see this at a drive. Right? Oh, oh my, my God! God. They were smart. It should yeah. Be. I mean, we were saying earlier we can see that we can see this being a double feature with the Blob. Like it was just oh God the an evening in space. <laughs> Oh, God. that's right. The, yes. the voiceover announcer on the trailer is the guy who did the Night of the Living Dead trailer, too. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah. The, the green slime is coming. To, yeah, it's it's perfect. It's perfect. It's it's everything that you want in a rubber monster movie. Like, it's just so much fun. The, uh, like, the only complaint I think we had was the music. We needed... You can play that fucking score the whole time. I don't care. Like you're the whole the green slime song the whole movie. That's just fine. Bit. Just something like the lack of music drew away from the magic of this movie because it was so much fun to watch. Um, yeah, it's like Michaela said, the, the costumes, the the sixties look. This movie made me want to have a sixties theme party. Yeah, same. Like, so much. I, I really wanted to be at that like yes. party they were at. Actually. Oh my god! I was like, was like that there wasn't like eggshell chairs or something. Oh yeah, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. The right. Yeah. God. Yes. Yeah. No. The, I mean, I have nothing bad to say. This movie was just a blast. I that fucking song. Oh my god. That oh. oh. It's so Rockin'. good. It's, it's so good. I love it so much. Like, I want music to be like that again. Oh, it's great. Yeah, I love Green Slime. Definitely watch it. It's so much fun. Don't miss it. Sean. Um, I'm just glad that uh, Jack Square Jaw made it throughout this podcast. I'm just <laughs> glad I proposed that. Congratulations. That's his name now. Yeah. Um, uh, I'll make it quick and simple. Like, Green Slime is just a fun movie to watch. Like, the sincerity, again, of the movies that are made back in the day is is the reason why you should watch them. Because, yeah. you know, these people are just seriously making a movie and putting all these elements in it. And it just, looking at it now, it's just fun to see what they thought was like a serious movie back then. Mm. Um I had a really good time watching this movie. It's it's ridiculous in all the uh best ways. Yes. Um it's just it's kind of insane and it's like, what do you think wife- of from sixties movies? You think of right. space movies, monster movies. It's yeah. both. Yeah. <laughs> it's the, so great. The wire work is incredible. <laughs> you almost never see them. <laughs> That's a joke. <laughs> Everything uh, looks like ski lifts, as you said. Yeah, yeah, it's all ski lifts, but it's just like, even like, I think we enjoyed it more, but just because it is such a you're expecting music to emphasize what's happening on screen, and you don't get it at all in this movie. Yeah, and I think that makes it more, I guess, awkward. And so yeah, it is awkward, and so it makes it more fun to comment on because it's just very quiet in certain scenes. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's just it's fun. The monsters are ridiculous. The people are ridiculous. Uh, the whole thing's fucking ridiculous, and it's just fun to watch. So, yeah, I definitely recommend The Green Slime. Especially for that fucking theme song. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, this is a blind buy, right? This is a, and it Like was, I said, it? it's crossing one off the bucket list. <clears throat> there were a couple of movies on that. I think that's what we do. It's every once in a while, you watch these oh, old yeah. trailers, and you're like, we well, you got to watch this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And this was one of them, and I never got around to it until uh, this evening. So, the uh, like, I'm sitting there watching the movie... For the at the beginning when they're going after the asteroid, right? And I'm like, this isn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. It's mm-hmm. like this is actually kind of working as a movie. Like I can mm-hmm. see 
uh, how the visual effects are supposed to look. Like if you were to redo them now, like you just redo the all the exterior shots, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, the interior it doesn't look like a modern movie, but no. like, I can I can get what they're trying to represent with the you know these ancient visual effects, right? right? Tear is fine. Yeah. yeah, I mean they're bad by our standards, and they were probably like in the edge of going out even on their standards, but I uh, you know, have the time, but it's like, I get what they're going after. Cause the, the drama of the situation is kind of working. And then the monsters show up and they have this, uh, noise that accompanies them. And, uh, and then it was like, okay, this is where we've tipped over into like, this is good, bad territory where it's yeah. ridiculous. And you're either having fun with it, which I was, or you're not, you know, cause it's like, it seems to, to work as a serious, <laughs> Uh, a film. Uh, uh, ironically, I think it's like ninety minutes long. Sean's looking That's at the back of the box. For. I think it's ninety minutes, but the rated G. Well, back then everything was uh, rated G. That's very true. Um, the uh, the Japanese version of this movie was seventy seven minutes. I hear they cut all the love triangle. He cut the love triangle out in order to give it like a more forward, uh, you know, like a propulsion propulsive momentum. Did he add music? Apparently, the original score, I don't know if it's all there, but the guy's credited. The original Japanese uh, composer is credited <laughs> with Charles Fox. So I don't know how much of its replacement. If they rescored it, if they did, then it's Charles Fox's fault. If they didn't, then it's uh, whatever the, I missed his name. Oh, yeah. But then it's his fault. Um, but that is the biggest deficit to this movie. The, the strange thing about it was, I mean, even at 90 Minutes, and without the score, I, it still felt like it was moving forward. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like, it's still moving. There were moments when, you know, uh, I guess I was waiting for the explosion to depressurize the space station, and we're running out of oxygen, and kind of set that timer to, like, yeah. you know. To the, the end of the movie, yeah. Because those are the things that modern, you know, these kind of sci-fi disaster movies, I think of, like, the abyss, right? It's like, yeah. it's just one calamity after the other. Yeah. Once the things show up, like, shit just goes bad, and then something else goes bad. But here, it's like, it's all going bad because of one guy's decision. Or decisions, right? It's, yeah, it's, yeah. Not, it's not, even, all it's one not dude. even because of the monsters. No, it's not yeah. the fucking dude. <laughs> fucking Gary Lockjaw. It's just one dude. They're, they're Fuck like, that guy. They're like, we could just seal this part off. And we'll be fine. Yeah, yeah. blow it up. Still, they'll be no. gone. It still <laughs> played those two characters like they they had this animosity, but it was still like a friendly animosity towards each other. Frenemies. It's like nobody really got like uh, you know furious with rage and did something completely uh, you know spiteful and yeah. irredeemable. It was still like we can still bring this back to like, in the end, they still respect each other, which is just like, I was unprepared for that. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> this is just a different era of movie making. Yeah. Like that wouldn't even occur to a Hollywood screenwriter now. Right. Like and, everyone's uh, okay at the end. Like, yeah. Everyone's like ca- character, morally character wise. They're all pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't happen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You haven't really, it's like, who's the villain of the movie? <laughs> I meant like, it's not it like this. Like this. It's a shake. Like, everyone's pretty yeah. good. Shake there was a lot of off jokes in this movie. Yes, yeah, so you're just doing <laughs> the jerk yeah, off motion. Good. Sean's doing the jerk you're off good. motion. You're good. You're good. <laughs> Sean's doing the jerk off motion <laughs> to express goodness. It's. I mean, he's playing it's this with movie. This movie's inside weight. your brain. Yeah. Uh, uh, but who's the villain of the movie? The monsters. It is. It's the monsters, yeah. right? I mean, that's ironic. In a movie with three characters. Nowadays, you nowadays this. you wouldn't get that. The no. monsters wouldn't be the bad guys. No, they'd be like a secondary threat. It's yeah. like the bad guy would a secondary be threat, the... so that the two main characters can work out their shit. Mm-hmm. I don't know. <laughs> I I I enjoyed watching the movie for I guess for what it was. I thought uh, it's not good, um, but it was a lot of fun, especially yeah. watching it here. You know, tonight with uh, with the rest of you. So, uh, would I recommend the Green Slime? You got to know what you're getting into. It's uh, I think they know. I think the title yeah, kind of. I if mean, you see anything from this movie, you're just like, all right, I know what that's going to be. Yeah. yeah. So I guess I'm recommending it with reservations. I mean, I'll probably watch it again, but yeah, I mean, I think I it would have gone. I actually kind of want to own it now. It's, it it's, it's kind of like better. it's Star Crash Junior, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> a little yeah. bit. Yeah. It's in that era. See, that's it's what like, I was thinking. Like right after we watched it, I'm like, would I put it in? Like the model work is kind of. Yeah. But Star Crash is so spectacularly good. <laughs> Goofy yeah. in every scene, and it, it brings in something new, mm-hmm. you know? It's like all of a yeah, sudden. There now, are different elements to that movie. Yeah, which makes it, which I think ups the entertainment factor. Never seen it. 
Oh, you got to start Crash. Crash. I've only oh. seen the Mystery Science Theater version oh of Star God. Crash. So. It's fucking glorious. Yeah, yeah it's... Me and Colin were the only two to recommend it for that fucking viewing, and it's fucking glorious. Yeah, it's fantastic. <laughs> it's a great... Uh, I think that's the bar at which I set all of these kind of movies. Mm-hmm. Is like, mm-hmm. is it better than Star... It's Colin's know. The Room. It is. Right, yeah. right, yeah. Yeah. right. Yeah. 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 So, uh, I would say, yeah, you got to check out the Green Slime. Why yeah, not? man. You do worse. So. It's Green goofy Slime. Well. It's got Way that worse. theme song, and uh, yeah, it's a, it's a trip. It's groovy. It's groovy, man. It's groovy. You know, they said that nobody actually said that in the 70s. That was like, a, that's a Hollywood thing. Everybody yeah. says groovy. They said it in the Brady Bunch. Yeah, but they didn't actually say it. In real life, people didn't say I have no way of knowing if that's know. true or not. We'll so, know. Yeah. yeah, I'll ask my parents. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> we can so. only know what people did or did not say in the 90s. That's, that's right. That's all yep. we got. But this was far out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're done. Yep. You're done. Uh, yeah, I'm done. <laughs> so, that's the green slime on the Saturday Night Freak Show. Next week, we're going to be watching a movie that's chosen by John. What are we watching next week? We're going to watch a movie called Kathy's Curse. Kathy's uh, Curse. Right? Anybody's that, heard of this? I've one. never heard, heard of this. Title. You've heard what the is title. It? You'll find out next week, Colin. Is there like a killer doll in this movie? <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's the yes. Okay, uh, it's right. kind of like sideways version of that. Yeah, All right, we're, so we're saying none of us has seen Kathy's nope. Curse. I, Kathy's I, Curse. I have not seen Kathy's oh, Curse. Oh, oh this no. is another going in blind. A I've blind inspired movie. Either. Okay. Oh, yeah. So. These are dangerous. That's right. Yeah. We don't know what we're gonna get. Kathy's Curse. From the 80s, I think. It's 77, I think. Oh, wow. That's early. Yeah. Is it a TV yeah. movie? No. Okay. No, no, no. He's all. checking you on the rules. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. He is. You're right. He is. No, it's not. This was, uh, this was released. All right. It's uh, a lot of curses. Well, cool. I can't wait By to see girl, uh, little blonde girl. Kathy's Curse. I've heard so much about it over the years. I have, too. That's not true. That's fine. I, right. I've, I've never heard of it. I have heard many things. I've heard the title. Okay, so uh, that's next week on the Saturday Night Freak Show. Uh, until then, the uh, the basement is going to... What, what? I don't son have it queued up. Oh, son of it's a It's gone. Bitch. Okay. All right. Well, then, uh, until next week, the basement is going dark. Green slime! <laughs>